Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I, I can't that even say that, too. dude. Okay, so here comes Mr. Sandbag versus the guy who makes people his sandbag and himself a sandbag. Now, the matchup is different than in Melee, actually. It's still toward Falco by a decent amount. It didn't stop like Rebel becoming power ranked against a bunch of Falcos here in Hawaii, though. But this is PM, so a lot of things are a lot more free. Uh, Seven dollars? I, I calculated. You got six fifty, man. <laughs> You're silly. Oh shit, dude. Big guy, Thomas. You're losing money per tournament, dude. That one time. Oh. I lost. Yeah. Yeah, so for people who play melee, Falco needs to be full hop lasers. Now the thing is that I do that a lot in melee, but in PM, a lot of people think that their shines and airs and shuffles are so easy that they always go ham on me, and I usually don't lose that often to spaces. But the fact like these games were just like 100% lasers was super brutal to me. We had a couple more games. I wanna... So I'm the type of guy that, so me and me and Sandbag here are decently close. I call him out for like ridiculous amount of matches. He always declines every single day. I don't know if it's respect or whatever. Pretty sure he can still like body me in melee, but I will call out that match regardless. Yeah. Even though a lot of people think like Falco well everyone can deal with Falco and blah blah blah. It's like well no matter what you say, when played perfectly. Fox and Falco are still the best characters in the game. Oh, that was a charge on Smash. Oh my gosh. And then Angelo plays almost perfectly in melee. And in this game where like everyone has, well, a lot of people have Sakurai hands, especially Falco since he has a bad AP. It's a lot harder to edge guard him. You wanna? Yeah. You wanna join in or you wanna be lead? Oh god. Okay. So welcome, fuck boy. He knows this matchup. Actually, no. I'm gonna step off the mic. Reese is gonna be the cold. Oh, what's up, Reese? What? No, Reese. Reese. <laughs> we're, not, we're not having Reese here, dude. Huh? Yeah. How does that work? All right. So Falco. <laughs> Falcon versus Falco. Arguably, uh, I mean, a lot of people will discuss that this match is like what, 55, 45, not even like that. No, bad. no, I think it's even worse. I think it's really? super bad. I mean, it's really volatile though, like, like Falco, like oh. combo like Falcon, like you're fucking around, yeah. like let's be real. But like, Falcon's like, can Falcon yeah, combo it? Falco to death? He's like the fastest follower in this game, like third to the. Like into the fast forward. I mean, what Falcon basically needs to do in this matchup is basically needs to get. If he, he, when he touches Falco, Falco needs to die. Falco needs to die. Falco needs to die. That's easier said, said than done. I, mean, I think you can say it about any PM character. I guess like Captain Falcon has that edge because he can do that with every other character. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean it's more so in PM because like, of the cover buffs. Yeah. And like, the way that his combos move together in PM, it's a bit easier for him to get those pretty sick combos. So, but, wait, does he tech off? Like, does he, like. Does it force into a tech chase situation when Falcon combos Falco, or is it actually just all aerial? I mean, roughly what he wants to do, but well, it's my the way I like to approach the matchup, is that you can't let Falco play the game basically. Like, oh, if you yeah. let him control the space, control the neutral, control space, and dangerous. You gotta get in close, get into space, and use it there. Basically, make him uncomfortable with lasering. Lasering yeah. is a commitment, as much as it doesn't seem like it is. So if you just, if you can short hop over them and like, move in with the air. Off time to get stuff, Falco's, we found laser camp. 
Yeah, once you can get that Nair and you get that, you can get that SVJ grab basically, which lets you attack chasing kills while power looking. Definitely, but it requires that thing too. It does, I mean, it requires a lot of effort. It requires it, I mean. Yeah. Well, if, if you'd want something that's easy, especially, well, actually PM is a different story, but if you want to play Falcon in melee, you have to put in a lot of effort. Yeah, they get like a full power. Yeah. I mean, the PM is a bit, I would argue, is a bit easier. That no, I think it's like a lot easier, except when you're playing against like Sheik, Fox, Falco, Marth, then it's just the same amount of effort almost. Yeah, but the nice recovery buffs are always nice. That side beat the ledge, which is probably real good. Yep, especially since you have those soccer hands, you go right below the ledge. Super good. And you can see like, Jake got two knees in just when he lasered. So you can yeah. see like, that's top notch advice. Right? Yeah, Falcon takes that. Laser is a commitment. You can't just throw him out there. Yeah. But I was pl um, playing against. Angela, I really wanted to like punch that double laser on ledge and I knew how, it's just that like... I mean, okay, Jake's going fucking count on that. Yeah. I just got destroyed, dude. Yeah, he got, yeah that, <laughs> I that's just, I just got destroyed on that stock, dude. Yeah. Tech chase. And, like, a cool thing that a lot, like, a lot of problems like to do is when they up throw a space here, or like any fastball up throw a platform, it's really easy to tech chase them Definitely, yeah. when they're up there. I mean, they have basically really limited options. So if you, if you up throw them onto a platform, you get a uh, stop on them. Yeah. Lights out, dude. And I've been seeing that like the whole time against Falcon in general. And Falcon has like super limited options with that role. Yeah. And you can notice like he's getting used to it. If you don't know anything about like Sandbag, you see him, he has like a tactical of the god. The reason why he's not going, going far in every turn, he's a little carbon. Not I don't want to say that. I would say he's as good as SD monster. SD monster. I also think that he's telegraphed a lot of the things he's doing. Like you can see it from a long way. Sure. The only thing is sometimes like you can see it, but sometimes he just way too fast for you. So that's what the problem with it. But he's been doing a lot more safer approach which is really good. Coming up his um, aerial to shine. That's right, but I watched that game back when I played him. It was just I would see like a hundred I, I saw him lasering me at 112. That was a really good game. Meanwhile Jake scrolls a counter that though. Yeah dude. But like like I said, when Falcon gets that read, he's oh, a punch his Falcon. Like, like, um grab your boost. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you're right, dude. That's straight up forty two. And I was a platform chase, he missed it too. Yeah. See, so he started throwing that in when bracket started. Shine back air. If you notice a lot of people are missing those DIs like crazy. It's a, it's a good mix of like if you reverse the back there, you, you're pulling the air. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I've been I went straight left. Oh, I got it's hit by that. By so much time throughout my my smash history with against him. Seeing against the Angelo Seals, so satisfying to me as a prince. You know. Yeah. So what do you think about Yoshi? Because uh, I think that's crazy. I see like Falcons being the one counter picking here. What do you think about it? I think that back air covers like the whole half of the thing if you're just like rising with it. That's very true. I mean, it depends on, I guess you could say the style of Falcons. Some Falcons definitely need their space to run around and do them. Yeah. You give them some big in the breathing room. Yeah. I feel like Jake's reason when it's consistent enough for the smaller stage that's like, oh. like, get those zero death on Falcon combo a lot easier. Yeah. But this is probably Angela's favorite stage. Every time you go to Yoshi's, I get body by it. So. Sounds about right. All the Falcons here prefer this stage. Oh, we'll tech, oh. what are you gonna do? I feel like, regardless of how you tech, if, if it's red, it's done. Yeah, I mean, even if you DI to the left or the right, um, then you're gonna get it like it. a, yeah. yeah. I mean, you make it work a little bit harder. Um, this is pretty even though. I mean, this is super even. Oh, oh okay. Right. There we go. I was gonna think like he was no, gonna try to face. go for a random thing. Right. Nope. Okay. No. Oh, he missed oh, no. both. Nice ones. Oh. You gotta love this is Angela's chance right here. Yep. Oh, he missed the base. Oh. Now, if you notice what he's doing, he does this a lot in both games. Good Falcos will shine once on your shield, then shine behind you. So again, oh, and there's a reverse name. Good by Jake. Negative DI right there. You saw that he went flying the exact opposite. First knee is a good mix up. You hold the hand, you don't fly. Yeah. The final thing ending with my PM like type of field, I feel like I only die if it, if it's not 90% of the time. Oh, I was Angelo. It's 2 1, I believe, right now. 2 1? Yeah. Okay, Jake's 2. Jake's 2. Yeah, I am. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, Thomas. I'm bad at my job. So. So, what do you think about Smash Bros? What do you think about Smash Bros? Then, dude? I think Smash Bros is super fair. There's nothing. I think it mainly helps Falco because. Is there a clear recovery? Yeah, so when you're off stage, let's say you're up B right where you side beat. You can just go up to the platform. You have literally like three options. A little bit above, or on ledge, or platform. Yeah. Falcon, 
has this weird curvy thing. He does like a double backflip yeah, yeah, in Zombie. Yeah. So like, if you see him going up there, it's super obvious where you're gonna go, and you can probably react. Yeah, to yeah you can react to cover it. Yep. Good there. Can be stuck. These deers are brutal. I always like make fun of because the weak part of dare in this game is super weak. Is, is it the pal dare? Where's it's a pal dare. Right. No, no, no. So weak part treats it as a pal dare. Cause you know it's so, like melee. If you get the weak dare, you just go smaller spike. Yeah, that's so spike. Inside this game, if you get a weak dare, you go practically going at a 45 down. Is it still a spike? Yeah, it's still a spike, but then like it's soft and it's at a weird angle. Okay. That's easy to dial. But. When you do, um... Yeah. Missed the laser. There, back air. Oh. Missed the time back air. I remember that, that is just, I would've liked it if he just back air him. Oh, yeah. so I'm not just, I'm not just oh and that's me. That's the game. That all could've been different if he just back air him off the stage. Absolutely. It only takes one thing to mess up and your opponent's gonna get an extra credit. Maybe a stop. Nice man. So... Uh... Frank, what was I gonna say? Good. Oh, so back then, uh, Rebel didn't actually ever. Rebel is SSBM, exclamation marks. He didn't ever use side B to recover. Uh, came from melee, so everyone else was like, oh, okay. That was way down. Yeah. 340 on that one, but let's see if I can bring back. Rocket was doing it pretty hard, but yeah. let's see. There's a grab? No, no read. It's kind of weird, so I always thought the Falco and Falco matchup, so there's a guy named Scout in our uh, state. Right. And he's, he, he thinks like the Falco Falcon matchup is super free, like he could be a lot worse than the Falcon. And he's like, just lazy, ruin all combos. And I always kept that mentality, even though I don't play Falco, but like, I always like the mind matchup as Falco Falcon. Just laser till 200 or something. It is a commitment, but like, shine out of everything it would be pretty good. Right. Well. In the back air of any space, you just pretty much beats a lot of Falcon's approaches. Yeah, that's right. um, I mean, if they want to play really champion, it becomes really difficult for Falcon to get any started. Yeah. Um, once again, like, Falcon can... And even without that, Falcon has a hard time getting started, so with that, it feels almost impossible to get started. I mean, basically, he likes to play... He has to play a defensive neutral in order to get oh, it. And that's a bracket reset. So, comes a bracket reset. So zero, zero, back again. Okay, so Jake's gonna come up from losers. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I think there was only like one turn he Let's did. Let's go, Angelo. I'm rooting for you. Come on, dog. You missed your shine wave on, dog. You don't ever miss that on me, dog. <laughs> you got it, dude. You're good. Oh, I didn't finish my sentence a while ago. So I feel like 90% of my deaths in TM is because I read the DI wrong. No, I, I don't suicide. Just that's today. That's today was. I won't say how I lost without being me, Johnny. Yeah, good good DI, good DI away from the shine back there. Oh, right there, sorry, the simple but... fear, dude. Look into your eyes and just see that. <laughs> the not take down smash. You probably think like down smash is not that viable. Like people are like, oh, it's PM. Down smash is viable. Like I'm telling you right now, down smash is not viable. It's just as viable as it is in melee. Down smash is still. It's it covers some options in the middle of the stage. The best time to use it is when you do a throw next to the edge. Throw they have to take. So they have to take when it's really near the edge of the stage. You can charge it and cart, cart, um, they cover almost every option. And I've never not get it. I've never not get unread. I don't know how to do English right now. He has a D, but he's oh, right and that D yeah, was pretty yeah. good. Yeah, so. That one. But he still has a stock up. Yep. See if you work, but he gets so. Is, is DI different inside PM? It is absolutely different. It's a lot easier, a lot of the momentum gets changed. You can smash DI with both sticks. I'm not. Grab. So the thing about this game is, if you want to kill someone, you gotta go for a mix up. And I feel like, cause negative DI is that much worse. Like, of course, a DI can save you from a kill move, but like, bad DI can make a move that will never kill you to something that will look like you died at like 10. I know they should do those a lot. Yep. If they can start sniffing those out, they can really stuff those out. Like, drop them just trying to stay. So, this is where Sandbag realized, like, what the hell, I couldn't jump until down there. Like, Falco has that problem with a lot of moves with his stun in this game. N64 defense stun. Also, the down smash. But a little bit, not, a little bit from, too far on that one. The spacing there is. Now, I'm not sure if. Uh, I see it a lot from, like, that was, M2K. It was, that was very good DI for Jacob. Oh, but he gets pineapple. Pineapple. I feel like if you just did a drop down on the uh, rising there, it would have been yeah. better than just the uh, 
I mean, he, I mean, he's the option that he could have it, but I think that the, the rising there would have been better. Oh, unfortunately, uh, Banjo. I mean, he is SD King, so SD King. Let's see if Banjo can pull, uh, collect himself and come yeah. back to the last. You can tell because if Banjo ever played like uh, PM, yeah. he doesn't run homebrew. He's like the SD card king also. Okay, and that combo. He's just a get up attack because he's a little bit too strong to punish. Double oh. there. No we grab. So you can tell the reaction is there, just that it's not fully fast. Sign gangster wizard. Oh. I really like the, the near approach. Oh, oh, the jab! The jab, jab down smash was very, very strong. Knocked him up his mouth so he couldn't do anything about it, basically. Everyone has those jab smash confirms. Oh. 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 Thank you for reminding that'll feel a good choice. <laughs> Platforms get Falcon to move the on the stage. Oh, and there's the SD! Hitting those buttons in my game, hit them with lasers. And it looks like he's playing it out, man. Yep. Um, as a, when I play um, Falcon in this matchup, in this game, I actually would have, would have preferred if the original Battlefield would be in this one. Because the slope, the, I mean the slope edges, let, let the spaces um, ride their uh, yeah, up in, becomes a little bit hard to kind of uh, edge guard them. You don't get Battlefield. Oh, oh, and here's another SD! And Anto returns a favor. Gentlemen's over here. Gentlemen's over here! <laughs> Oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Down. I mean, Battlefield is a good stage now because, um, I mean, Falco gets those um, staircase um, combos and just giant wave to the platform. Oh. The platforms provide like a good, um, oh. and that look goes fuck. <laughs> he gets side beat off the top of the stage, man. He had the lead, now it's anyone's game. So this is such a spaghetti man. Oh, they're oh, mine! <laughs> now, this is important for Sandbag because this is SSBM's or Rebel's counter pick here. Very true. <laughs> but you see it in melee, you get all stunned. Oh, and there comes like a huge amount of. It's the most spaghetti matches in melee. It's, it's just a whole So, if you don't wiggle that. You're pretty much done because that thing has a huge amount of it, uh, lag on it. A lot of moves you see have a lot of lag on spaces. So basically, when you're hit stun, um, you can basically wiggle your control sticks and hit buttons basically to get out of the hit stun quicker. Yeah, that works inside any Smash game, rather than it's a guitar thing. You know, some people fall. Notice how he was doing a like a flopping movement when getting hit, like that. If that means you're not allowed to move, that means you have to wiggle. Or you could just wait till it's gone. Now, if you do move, then they'll do a tumbling animation or they'll do oh. flippers. Really bad for a Smash Man, though. Wow. He gets reverse need off the stage. Not only he reverse need on command, but he didn't expect it, so he had like negative DI. I think he would have lived by far. He would have got need 110 years, so he would have lived if he gets But I mean, you could just shake it off and work on the next one. Doesn't even Pace matter. That was Rebel's counter pick, anyway. Take back to Yoshi's. Did he win the last one on here? Uh, I don't think he did. Oh, what's going on, man? We got 14 stages. I mean, Hanzo's a melee player, so he's gonna stick to what he likes the best, basically. Got it. I mean, okay, enough. And I agree with this choice. I mean, absolutely. Being calm and nervous by going on stage is not a on. That's all the power down below. Yep. Not sure where that shine was going, but good. Oh, nice run smash. Good read on the attacking play. Double A. Oh, I'm not sure if that was timed, lucky, or just like a glimmer of hope right there. No. It's a tech, it's a free knee on everybody out of spaces, and it's a tech chase, and you just uh, this sweet spot, man. You gotta aim small guy <laughs> over here. Yeah. Now, I like this at melee where uh, Falcon always stayed below, uh, stayed always above edge, even when up being or side beam. So if you get hit by a laser, it's oh, what's wrong with you? This is your counter pick. Come on, Angelo, get that dude. Because you're guaranteed money, man. <laughs> Oh, shiny. Huh? Fourth. Back here. Good this time big here. I'll smash that up for it. Should still be there. Yeah. I'm nice a big fan of the on the way down, but should be an edge guard there. Yeah, for Falcon, I think a big component of this matchup is wave dashing out of shield, though. <laughs> yeah. If you can wave dash out of shield from. Because you're stuck in shield. Yeah. Nice. If you act out of the. Um, to basically mitigate uh, laser pressure, as well as if you come in for dare approaches and you can wave dash out of your shield, you can bait it out and punish with maybe like a stomp. 
I mean, if you know what's playing with me too, to go out, how do not die at 60 for me? I mean, that's Falco's death percent. I mean, 0% yeah. I mean, is Falco's death percent, so. I'm pretty sure all Falco's for like the past 17 years, no, 13 years, probably like yeah. realized this, they figured out ways to do it. Now, he has to learn within the next two matches, or three matches, on how to not do that. To figure out how 13 years of development go straight into PM and he does want to not die at 60%. As a non PM player, um, this Falco down throw has like different properties than it does in melee. Or... Um, because I know, I know that like when you down throw Fox, that Falco, he doesn't put him in a knockdown. But I think in PM it does. For Falco? Yeah. No, yeah, you get into a knockdown. With, with in PM, right? Yeah. But in, but in melee it doesn't, so that means. Melee does it? Yeah, when oh, when, when Falco down throws uh, Fox, it doesn't put him into a knockdown, which is why he can chain grab himself like four get some odd like four percent or something. Oh. But basically it means Fox can't attack him. But that also means he can buffer a sign right out. Right out yeah. Of actually uh, I actually did not know that. So all my characters I don't play spaces that often. When I do play spaces, it's like a spacey matchup. So I actually didn't know that. I usually always just tech automatically. Huh, right. that's neat to know. Yeah. Because it's like he's even heavier than that. You probably think he'll be like fast. Oh! <laughs> if he landed that, man, man, everyone's like who will play against him will have their heart just safe right there. Up smash. He needs to get these there. Oh! Definitely Cut the film. Cut the, uh, oh, we got some classic people here. I know that Angelo. I mean, he's an SD master here, but yeah. he's been doing too much. I really want to see a clean game out of these two. Yeah, I do. I, I do too. But to me, sometimes when you're being too classy, it shows a little too much. Like, well, in that case, it was very respectful. Big grab, close to the roll away option. Ooh, laser. I like Jake's just some text on the down, like when they like, tries to do the um, the dares after the shine. I like that he's seeing those texts. I mean, yeah. it makes it a lot harder for Falco to follow up. And, and I was like, like making Falco work for it gives you more chances to get that that juicy grab that lets you basically kill Falco. A lot of these combos they may seem a little auto, and the ones that are kind of auto, you have to at least try to make them work for help. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing in this game, you gotta be worried about that. And Angelo evens up with the side. Uh, boy smash. Grab. I like to see maybe like adding the option of showing that he can do the shine grabs. Yep. Just so that. Um, he's shown it that he's done. He actually hasn't landed the grab yet, but he's shown that he can do it, do it very well. Okay. And if you notice, like these combos from 0 to like 70, these shield pressures, these neutrals. We're getting it a lot, but like actually getting the stock off so we know we Yeah, so, so, so from my understanding, there's a slight change for Fox, but it's up, you can see spot the ledge, right? Yeah, from below, you can totally see spot the ledge. That's another example. But I mean, in those situations where I could going to play down smash, that would perfectly work in, in melee. Yeah, no, it would definitely work in melee because you can't see spot the ledge. Yeah, so it basically avoids the Falco there. And it's not hard to get that juicy spot, basically. Because yeah. he does like a quadruple backflip at the, at the top part. So like, you're gonna be on that Apex for a long time. Yeah, it's not fair. But then, it, it makes it look very obvious when you're going for the sweet spot. So, but is Falco the type of guy to do a drop, like, back air? Maybe, I don't know. Here. Like a stage bike oh, type of back air? Uh, he yeah, if you notice, if you just like go back, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and watch all the sandbag game again, you will see his opponents have like always less than half shield. Look how brutal that is. Yeah. And you think this is a least consistent game? Yeah, oh, nice one. And he brings it back to you too. So now this is Rebel's counter pick for the final game. Let's see if he's gonna stick to these melee level. There's no Pokemon Stadium too. Yeah, there's a Pokemon Stadium 1. Smashville, okay. So the YOLO Smashville here. So this is a stage that was not fair in melee where these both come from, but they're both comfortable on it. This is the one where Angelo took me on. Yeah, that down smash here pretty much covers practically everything Angelo can do. 
tech left, tech right. Maybe not tech right based on his elders because I'm not too familiar with it. Yeah. Does it? So if you're stable, like on floor, if you're, if you're stable on floor, does it also hit knockdown opponents? Yeah, okay. so oh. the way that, so when, well, because if you, can, if you charge it, you can hold it to cover the missed tech because their vulnerability will, la will not uh, last long enough to um, oh. cover the charge. Trippy. I do a lot of like, when you see me miss techs, well like, today was kind of a bad example, but if you look at previous tournaments, I actually miss techs on purpose. It's because yeah, people it's good, like... Yeah, some people don't expect it. It's a good thing to do with the mix, especially when you get a heavy tech chase, and none of the tech options are working. Yeah. You see a tech definitely can throw off the tempo. Yeah. For even me, like myself, I miss, when someone misses tech, it throws me off. The, like, I, feel like, <laughs> I feel that like, because a lot of the tech chases, there's a lot of the rhythm into it too. Definitely. Because you can run out of like, out of landing, run out of like, okay, so. People are gonna be expecting that. People are gonna expect you to think smartly because you've been in a combo for a while. Yeah. Oh, so the piece. Yep, he evens it up. But you gotta be careful about the straight hits. You gotta be very careful. Even in soft, he gets into a tech chase position. That's super yeah. scary. Here we go. He's oh. gonna read him with there. Oh, he's gonna chance down. for a big follow up. Oh, so it's not falling up. Oh, oh shit. He always expects the, the tech, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Right there. There's a fadeaway on the on the second there so that he can't get shield grabbed or arrow without a shield. Yep. Great yep. That was a really strong DI right there. Good for it, throw. Oh, he got in and the double laser. As much as I say I don't respect it in like any game, like it works so often. Uh, don't respect what? Sorry. I don't I don't think do double laser off the ledge is a good thing. It's super unsafe. Though. It is really unsafe, especially if your opponent's expecting it. Um, but I mean, if they're if they're not at if they're not the ledge they're not testing your getup, it's like I mean, it's a good safe option. This is like what to apply it. I like how he still goes for the firebird, even though he's been side B one. Like he's so confident in his text one, keeps that invincibility. Alright, so he's playing the laser game a little more while still getting into the safe pressure. Now, for a Falcon player. How often are you in shield against like any other character? I do not know, but I'm guessing it's not often. But against Falcon, you know. It's oh my it's god! Saved by the PM mechanic there. Saved by the PM mechanic. But nice it's super hard, dude. Yeah, Falcon definitely plays a very defensive style in these matchups. He's a wait for he basically basically needs to wait for the space to mess up their shield pressure so he can get that opening. So that involves a lot of waiting to shield. Um, I mean, ideally you don't want to be in that situation, but I mean, this is the nature of the character. So this is how it's the nature of the character is just the way it works. And you return to be with another that now. The thing is that is it's the last stop. Last stop of where, the game. Where uh, everyone's true self comes out. Yep. The difference in money right now is 30 bucks, guys. Big. No, wait, 20 bucks. This is, this is the difference in McDonald's and Zimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good down throw, shine fall, missing oh, the shine, oh, yeah. back to neutral. But he's pulling them down with lasers. Dave, I like him retreating to the platform, gives him some room to breathe. Oh, oh. Chance. One thing that, uh, Sam and I found time is shine. Oh, nice trade. Four oh! Smash. One smash, that would've been it. He's currently dead, he just, need, oh, he's getting for that legend E. He knows he wants it, he knows he can. Let's see if they know about PM mechanics. They do not know about PM mechanics. After five uh, ledge grabs, it's gonna visibly not be refreshed. Yep. So after five ledge grabs, you automatically get no invincibility. There. Oh! 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 Holy crap! That's gonna be my screensaver for the next like two years. <laughs> congratulations, Sandbag, and congratulations, Rebel or SSBM for melee. And congratulations, Izzah, for getting first, second, and third, respectively. If you want